In today's video, we are going to freeze some pumpkin solid and smash them along with a few other experiments. Hey guys, if you haven't had a chance to check out our DIY build kits, we have several of them for sale in our shop. They come with every piece you need to build the projects yourself and are super easy to assemble. So go ahead and click the link in the description to check them out for yourself. Guys, we're at the dome. And we have pumpkins. I have sodium. Overall, we've got pumpkins and we've got entertaining <laughs> ways in carving the pumpkins. Yeah, They so may not survive the carving process. Here's the basic idea. We have five pumpkins. We have got some sodium, liquid nitrogen, and a few fun ideas. Let's see if we can find the most extreme way to carve a pumpkin. In a previous video, Grant actually showed a way that you can carve out the face of a pumpkin, put an explosive inside it, and pop out the eyes and mouth to make your jack-o'-lantern. I want to try that today, but I want to try and use sodium. And then just because I think it's a really funny pun, I want to try smashing pumpkins. It's October, it's Halloween, this is my favorite time of year and pumpkins are one of my favorite things and I'm so happy that we're here. So we're gonna smash some pumpkins, it's gonna be great. Let's start by just freezing one. Okay, we can do that. So as far as freezing one goes, I'm pretty sure that even with liquid nitrogen, one of these giant ones take hours. Maybe not hours, but it would take a lot of our liquid nitrogen. And a large container. So we thought a smallish pumpkin, this is the kind that you actually use for cooking, making pumpkin pie and whatnot. They're delicious, there's one on my counter right now. We're gonna use these pumpkins and this container that will nicely hold the pumpkin and we're just gonna to put it in there and let it freeze and then hopefully after it freezes we'll be able to use our fireplace tongs we'll figure out how to get this out we're not entirely positive we figured that part out yet but we'll get, we'll there. get the pumpkin out and then we'll smash it so let's just start freezing it i'm hoping our container survives me too i brought a spare but the spare was for the biggest the... concern i got the ones that i thought were going to be the most durable flexible but still kind of sturdy all right that's covered for the moment it's going to boil off and we may have to add a little bit more this is about the largest quantity of liquid nitrogen i've used it once it makes me very very happy <sighs> Sounds like something's happening, yeah. If we can't smash this pumpkin because it breaks before we can get it out, I'm gonna laugh. I'm guessing it's going to have cracks, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's going to completely shatter in there. <laughs> All right, our pumpkin is looking pretty good and frozen. It's a pretty frozen pumpkin. There, there is a crack. Nice. I see running through it, which is yep. really a good sign that it's become quite frozen, I think. My thought is I'll try and pick up the bucket and pour some of the extra liquid nitrogen back, back in. into our container possible that the bucket itself is going to be so cold it will shatter if I try and pick it up. That's fair. It's also possible that it will be so cold that my gloves will become overwhelmed before I have time to pour it, in which case I'll just set it back down. Okay. Yeah, can we'll... you grab it around the top edges where it's not quite so cold at the moment? Maybe. There's really no way for me to help in this process except to stay out of his way. I'm impressed with this little container. By container, I mean trash can. All right. Our well, pumpkin's doing something fun though. An extraordinarily cold pumpkin, <laughs> which looks fake because it looks like the paint has, yeah. is starting to come off. But I think you should grab a sledgehammer and destroy that immediately. Guys, I've always wanted to do this. And the fact that we made it a liquid nitrogen pumpkin makes it so much better. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Shattered. <laughs> it popped. Shattered. Oh no. All right, so the very center was still not frozen. And, and that's, that's what I was what wondering. You, you thought about Yeah, you yeah. were asking about that. But the edges of this, holy cow. That made such a satisfying, like, popping sound. That is two layers here, but yeah. these are both frozen. I think this is just the change in. Oh, that so is, yeah. All of the flesh and part of the pulp is what we froze here. Dust. Pumpkin dust. Okay, guys, literally, this has been on our list for like nine months. I had no good reason. It literally just said Halloween idea, smashing pumpkins. That was it. I just really wanted to destroy some stuff. I love Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Halloween is the best. I'm gonna try carving these out now, and one important thing is that I need to make sure that all of my angles are aiming in toward the pumpkin so that there's no lock. It's not gonna make the pieces try and go in. They need to try and come out. We've got a pumpkin prepped, and we think it's going to work with just a small bit of sodium, creating a small little pop 
Uh, it might take some experimentation to get just the right amount of sodium because we want those eyes and mouth to actually like pop, pop out. out. Yeah. Um, and if the lid pops a little bit too, well, so That's much fine. better. Just but be we're going to start at a very, very small amount and work our way up. We don't want to hurt our pumpkin yet. We just want it to explode. The last time we handled sodium at the dome, it looked like we were handling it with our bare hands and we got some comments on that. What we missed, what got cut out was Nate and I dipping our hands in oil before we were handling it. We don't want to scare anybody again, especially if that part gets cut out again. So we'll let Nate handle it with the gloves. Okay, that is a tiny, tiny piece of sodium. Pretty small. It just, Squished we just, on the end of it. it's so soft. We squished it around the edge of the string and it's just crimping itself on. And this way, when we lower the lid down into the pumpkin, the lid will already be on and the sodium won't go into the water until the lid's on and we'll have time to just put the lid on and back away, even though with this small quantity, I'm not really worried about it. All right, everyone ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I hear a fizzing. Yeah, I think it's probably just skipping around on the surface. This tiny, tiny little piece. I don't think this is gonna react anymore. I think it's no, all I reacted think that was away. It. I heard another hissing noise as I took it out. We'll have to drive that off exceptionally well before we try a larger piece of sodium. This chunk of sodium is considerably larger and pretty close to what I was expecting would be the amount that yeah. would work here. So same idea, we'll drop it, we'll run. We'll, <laughs> we'll run a little pops. faster this time. <laughs> As our camera guy stays in place. We're hearing some pop, oh, some smoke. Yep, a little bit of smoke. Random fly landing on our pumpkin. Time to go bigger. Yeah, go bigger or go home. We're also dealing with the fact that we're racing against time every time we're doing this because the pumpkin itself has a crack in the bottom, so it's leaking water out everywhere. So we got to get this just right with just the right amount before the water leaks all the way out and keeping the string dry and everything as he lowers it down. It's a little bit of a process, but it's fun. Approximately double the size of last time. Yeah, hilarious. That is more than I thought we were going to need. But clearly, we need more than I thought we needed. Three, two, one. Hear it. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <It's perfect. laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, I'm so happy! Pop and a jack o' lantern! <laughs> oh, it worked! It worked, and the lid like it oh, popped off, it but it jumped. stayed. Yeah, just enough to make it look like he was really scared. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that was fantastic! <laughs> yes, you can make a jack o' lantern using sodium to pop the face out. <laughs> that is amazing. Listen, we have a lot of pumpkins to go through today, but that doesn't mean that we can't keep using these until they're fully destroyed. I want total destruction of the pumpkins today. This is a large piece of sodium. I'm so excited I'm about this. I'm actually going to run a good distance away this time. This will probably expand extraordinarily rapidly, causing some level of destruction to our pumpkin. And three, two, one. <laughs> I hear it! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I don't think I'm capable of seeing an explosion without screaming at this point. It didn't actually destroy the He's pumpkin though. It's still okay! We've got to go bigger. Well, I think there's too much open on this pumpkin. I think we need a pumpkin Fully that isn't so enclosed. open. So this yes. pumpkin. Alright, so this time. Because water is non-compressible, we're hoping that adding as much as we can, so filling the pumpkin up, is going to help this expand rapidly outwards. Uh, Nate has secured a huge amount of sodium on the Sizable end of our pumpkin. quantity. I'm going to try to smash down the duct tape on the sides, but that's going to be of lesser priority. The if, priority is him getting away very, very quickly. Yeah, if my, my goal is that it will be one motion. I'll put it down and spread to the side, putting the duct tape down. If that's not working, I'm just gonna focus on running. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm so happy right that now. That is a properly destroyed pumpkin. <laughs> Woo! All right, well there is two King of Random style ways of destroying pumpkins. So after your holiday. <laughs> that went perfectly. Yep, you wanted to smash your pumpkins. There's a couple of ways you could do it. 
you probably don't want to in a neighborhood, yeah, but... be very safe. Don't do it near anyone that could be bothered by the noise. Yeah, but worth it. And... Oh no! <laughs> I think that it went actually perfectly! Traveled. Guys, that was a ton of fun, but you know that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video, and we'll talk to you in the next one. See you then.